Hey yogis, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's learning how to dance in the rain. Thanks for joining me. So I'm hoping for this to be a nice quick 45 minute practice. I'm not playing music in case you prefer a peaceful practice, but feel free to turn on your own music. So starting the tabletop position, take a moment to make sure your shoulders are lined over your wrists, spread out your fingers nice and wide, toes are kissing the earth. Take a deep breath in and lift your chest up and then exhale, round your back. Do that again, inhale, bring your chin and chest up. Exhale, round your back. Third and last time, inhale, bring your chin and chest up and then exhale, round your back. Coming into a nice, safe, neutral spine. As you inhale, right arm comes up high. Go ahead and thread your needle. Right side of your face can rest on the earth. Left arm can come forward, or maybe a half bind feels better. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Pushing back up on your left palm, let your right arm come up high and then let your right palm find the earth. Switching sides, left arm comes up high as you inhale, thread the needle. This time the left side of your face rests on the earth, right arm forward or maybe a half line feels nice. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out and then push back up with your right palm, left arm comes up high, back to your tabletop. Go ahead and extend your left foot back, pushing your toes into the earth, gently rolling forward, gently pushing back, stretching out your Achilles, the arch of your foot, your calf. Feels like you need a little bit more, go ahead and drag your toes all the way over to the opposite side of your mat, gaze goes over your shoulder. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. When it feels like enough to you, come back to your tabletop. Second side, push your toes into the earth, gently rocking forward and back, keeping your abs engaged, stretching out again your arch, your calf, your Achilles. Need a little bit more, drag your toes all the way over. Feel the stretch in the top of your hip and glance over your shoulder. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, go ahead and let your knee come back down to the earth. Tabletop position, spread your fingers out wide, release any tension in your head and neck, maybe sway your hips. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, come back to Balasana, child's pose, third eye rests on the earth. Come here at any time throughout the practice if you just need to catch your breath. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Take a moment to come up to all 10 tips of your fingers and then gently release your palms back down to the earth. Do that again. Inhale, come up to all 10 tips of your fingers. Feel the stretch throughout your armpits and then slowly release your palms back down to the earth. Third and last time, come up all the way and then slowly release back to your balasana. When you're ready on an inhalation, come back to your tabletop position again. Make sure your shoulders are lined up over your wrist. Step back with your left toes. Step back with your right toes. Coming into our first of many plank poses. Keeping your elbows slightly bent. Push back through nice active heels. Crown of your head goes towards the front of your room. Take a deep breath in and then stay for an easy breath out. This time, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, take your time slowly coming all the way down to the earth. Once you come down to the earth, untuck your toes, shimmy your palms back towards your ribs, baby cobra, start to lift the chest up. Exhale, slowly come back down to the earth. Do that again, baby cobra, play with your fingers, maybe you uh, widen your arms, coming up to the tips of your fingers, and then once again, slowly come back down to the earth. Third and last time, baby cobra, pausing here for a moment, glancing over one shoulder, glancing over the other, and then slowly surrendering back down to the earth. Tuck your toes under, pushing up to a tabletop position, or coming back to a plank pose. When you're ready, tuck your toes under and come into your first downward facing dog. Go ahead and let your head hang heavy. 
Legs are about hip distance apart. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Pushing the torso towards your thighs. Again, release any tension in your head or neck. Just let everything go. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Maybe a little baby curtsy side to side. Pedal out your dog. Do your thing. On an inhalation, come up high on your tippy toes. And as you exhale, melt your heels back down to the earth. Do that again. Inhale, come up high on your tippy toes. And then exhale, melt your heels back down to the earth. This time, let's move. Come up high on your tippy toes. Baby little steps to the top of your mat. Open up your legs a little bit. Bend your knees a lot. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Any arm variation that feels good as you pause here in your rag doll. One more full round of breath. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release the bind you chose. Let your fingers dance on the earth. Inhale, just halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, pour it forward, forward fold. Do that again. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, let it go. Third and last time, inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, let it go. This time, root to rise. Bring your arms up all the way overhead. Feel the stretch in your belly. And then pause just for a moment. Bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes. If you'd like to send an intention for this new gift of a day, please do so. What brings you to your mat today? Starting our time together, our practice with one cleansing breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose, part your lips, and let something go. Let it go. Now sealing your lips, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose only, finding your ujjayi breath. When you're ready, flutter your eyes open, release your arms. Inhale, arms come up, fingers meet, and then cut right down your midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Step, hop, or float back, pausing for a moment in your plank pose. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. This time, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, come down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, push the earth away. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Feet meet at the back of the mat. Inhale as you come up high on your tippy toes, bend your knees. Step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, just halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Grow long, grow strong, arms come up all the way overhead. Feel that stretch, and then cut right back down your midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Step, hop, or float back to your plank pose. Move through your vinyasa. I will be taking it from planks to down dog, still nursing a shoulder injury. So on your exhalation, downward facing dog. Again, pedal out your feet, move around or find stillness. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. On your next inhalation, right leg comes up high, bend your knee, yawn it open and stretch. Big ankle circles, big knee circles, maybe come up high on your tippy toes. And on the next inhalation, right leg comes up high, three leg dog. As you exhale, cheetah pose, knee to nose. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Do that again, cheetah pose, round your back, kiss your knee. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Third and last time, cheetah pose, round your back, kiss your knee for three, two, and one. Inhale, lift and lengthen, three-legged dog. Step forward with your right leg, left palm stays as is, right arm comes up high, coming into your first twist. Drop your left knee if that suits you better. 
Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, palm finds the earth, right leg steps back, downward facing dog. Full breath in, and full breath out. Left leg comes up high as you inhale, bend your knee, yawn it open. Stay here, or find movement that feels good. Next, inhalation, left leg goes to the high, three-legged dog, cheek pose as you exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Do it again, cheetah pose, round your back, kiss your knee. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Last time, cheetah pose, hold it here for three, two, and one. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Step forward with your left foot. Right palm stays as is, left arm comes to the high. Find your twist. Take a breath in and a breath out. This time take a deep breath in and as you exhale, left palm finds the earth, left leg steps back, downward facing dog. Full breath in and full breath out. On the inhalation, right leg goes to the high. Step forward, warrior one. Take your time coming up. Root to rise. Good, bring your left hip bone towards the front of the room. Take a deep breath in as you lift and lengthen your spine, then nice and easy, hinging forward. Humble warrior, I've got the arms modified. Right shoulders on the inside of your right leg, and as you inhale, legs stay as is, but the torso comes back up. Good, do that again, hinging forward, keeping your legs strong, humble warrior, two of three. Slowly, as you inhale, start to rise the chest, and then third and last time, coming into your humble warrior, Doing the arms that suit your body best. Take a deep breath in and stay for your exhalation. On your next inhalation, keep the legs and slowly with control, start to bring the chest back up. Good, settle into your warrior one. Take a deep breath in and then glide open to your warrior two. Good, relax your shoulders, relax your face, pushing your knee towards your pinky toe. Peacefully flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, feel the stretch in your side body, and then cartwheel both palms down to the earth. Step back for a one-legged vinyasa, two-legged vinyasa, or hips come high, downward dog as you exhale. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. On your next inhalation, left leg to the high, step forward, warrior one. Take your time coming up. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out as you bring your right hip forward to the front of the room. This time we move. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine, slowly hinging forward, humble warrior one of three. On your inhalation, slowly with control, bring your chest back up. Good, humble warrior two of three, take your time. Third and last time, arms slowly come up. And then coming into your third round of humble warrior, this time holding it. Left shoulders on the inside of your left knee, let your head hang heavy. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Next inhalation, slowly root to rise, bring your arms up, take your time. Take a full breath in and as you exhale, glide open to a wide warrior two. Same thing, pushing the left knee away from the body. As you inhale, peacefully flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. And again, cartwheel both palms down to the earth. Step back with your left leg, one-legged vinyasa, two-legged vinyasa, or full breath in and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Next inhalation, right leg comes up to the high, cheetah pose as you exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. This time, cross your body, tap your left elbow. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Right knee, right tricep, nice and high. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Step forward with your right leg. Move to rise, warrior one. Take a full breath in your warrior one and then glide open to your warrior two. Peacefully flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Feel the stretch. And when you're ready, extended side angle. Right forearm to the thigh, to the earth, or to your block. Left arm to the high. Half bind here if it feels good. Bird of paradise if that's in your practice. Wish to work your obliques a little bit. Maybe the right palm leaves the earth. Place it on your heart. Last breath in and full breath out. On your next inhalation, lifting from the left finger, slowly come back up, peacefully reverse your warrior, and then cartwheel both palms down to the earth. Move through your vinyasa, or bring your hips up high, little meet in downward facing dog. On the next inhalation, left leg, take it up high, cheetah pose as you exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Cross your midline, tap your right elbow. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Left knee, left tricep. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Go ahead, take your time stepping forward. Back heel to the earth, root to rise, warrior one. Take a full breath in and then glide open to a nice wide warrior two. Peacefully flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Stay here and feel your stretch when you're ready. Extended side angle your way. Half bind, full bind, bird of paradise. As always, make it yours. Looking for a little bit more of an oblique um, workout here? Perhaps the palm finds the heart. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. On your next inhalation, fingers slowly lift you up. Take your time and then peacefully reverse your warrior. Cartwheel both palms down to the earth. Step back with your left leg. Move through your vinyasa or bring your hips up high. We will meet in downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. One more time, take a deep breath in, maybe part your lips, release some heat, let it go. On your next inhalation, right leg, bring it up high. This time stepping forward to Anjane Asana, high crescent lunge. Take your time bringing your arms up, separate your legs a little bit. Take a full breath in and a full breath out as you sit all into your high crescent lunge. This time, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, let your back knee hover the earth. Inhale, straighten your back leg, arms come up. Do that again, let your back knee hover the earth. Good, inhale, arms come up. Last time, third and last time, back knee hovers the earth. Proud, proud chest, breathing here for three. Breathing here for two and one. As you inhale, start to straighten your back leg. Bring your hands to heart center, leaning slightly forward and find your twist to the right. Dropping your back knee to the earth if you wish, opening up your wings. Good, push back through an active heel. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. On your next inhalation, tough transition, slowly start to come back up. High crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, fingers find the earth, low runner's lunge. Left palm stays as is, right arm comes up high. Once again, coming back to your twist. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, step back, coming into a side plank. I've got the modification here. Maybe you have a full expression of the posture. Right fingertips come up. Maybe they come to the front of the room. Maybe you want to elevate your right foot. Do your thing. Take a deep breath in and stay for your exhalation. And then this time, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, come back to your plank pose. Feel free to drop to your forearms or to your knees. 
Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, both knees hover just above the earth for three, two, one, push back, straighten your legs for three, two, one, do it again, knees hover the earth for three, two, one, push back, straighten your legs for three, two, one, last time yogis, knees hover for three, two, one, legs straighten for three, two, one, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, hips come high, down, we're facing dog, well done. Shake it out, pedal out your feet, come up to your tippy toes, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Next inhalation, left leg comes up high, step forward, high crescent lunge, take your time coming up. Good, settle into your posture, release the arms. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, just settle in. Good, this time take a deep breath in and as you exhale, back knee hovers the earth. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Do that again, back knee hovers the earth. Inhale, lift and lengthen. This time back knee hovers the earth, let's hold it here. Take a breath in and take a breath out. One more time, take a breath in and take a breath out. On your inhalation, start to come back up. Bring your hands to heart center, leaning slightly forward. Find your twist to the second side. Again, crown of your head reaches forward to the front of the room. Drop your back knee if you need to. Take a full breath in and an easy, peaceful breath out. One more time, deep breath in and full breath out. On your next inhalation, release your arms and slowly bring them back up. Good, settle in. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, fingers find the earth and then right palm stays on the earth, left arm comes up high, returning to your twist, just a breath. On your next exhalation, Fingers find the earth, step back with your left leg. Once again, coming into your side plank, with or without the knee on the earth, with or without the arm coming forward, and maybe you extend your left leg up or come into wild thing, do your thing. Take a breath in and take a breath out. This time on your exhalation, roll right back to your plank pose. Again, on your forearm or on your knees is a great option. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, once again, the knees hover the earth for three, two, and one. Straighten your legs, push back for three, two, one. Knees hover the earth for three, two, one. Push back, straighten your legs for three, two, one. Last time, three is magic in yoga. Three, two, one. Push back, straighten your legs for three, Two, one, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, hips come high, down or facing dog. Open up your legs about the width of your mat. Walk your palms back towards your feet so everything is touching the earth. Stay here if this feels amazing. If you wish to add a little bit more, downward dog with a twist. Let your head hang heavy. Feel the stretch in the back of your hamstrings. When you feel complete on side one, simply switch palms and switch sides. And then again, when you're ready, come back to a traditional downward facing dog. Move your feet around a little bit. Take a deep breath in as you come up high, high, high in your tippy toes and then exhale, settle into the mat. Maybe your heels are a little bit closer to the earth. Do that again, come up high on your tippy toes. Exhale, let it go. Third and last time, come up high on your tippy toes and then exhale, melt into the earth. Downward facing dog. On your next inhalation, right leg, bring it to the high. Once again, step forward, high pressing lunge. Keep your time bringing your arms up. Good, settle in, squeezing your inner thighs towards your midline. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center, see where you wanna go. 
push off to your warrior three. Good, do your thing with your arms, bring them, your hands to heart center, bring them behind you, bring them in front of you. Try to dial your left hip bone down, flex your foot. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. This time, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, support it, warrior three. Again, dial your toes down, push back through an active foot. Stay here or drop your head, standing splits, left leg to the high. This time, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, kundalini's descent, teeny tiny ball, left knee kisses the back of the right calf. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Do that again, kundalini's descent, teeny tiny ball. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Third and last time, kundalini's descent. Stay here with your fingers on the earth or your blocks, or maybe bring your hands to heart center. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And one, good. Fingers find the earth forward, full, let it go. Shake your head yes, shake your head no, bend your legs. Your version of ragdoll, any arm variation that feels good, just let it go. One more full round of breath, take a deep breath in and then stay for your exhalation. This time go ahead and release the bind, let your fingers dance on the earth, inhale just halfway, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Root to rise, grow long, grow strong, arms come up all the way overhead, maybe stretching out your belly, coming up on your tippy toes, and then swan dive forward, take your time, forward fold. Last time, inhale, lift and lengthen, step, hop, or float. Move through your vinyasa, or bring your hips up high. Downward dog is where we meet. On your next inhalation, left leg comes up high. Step forward one more time, Anjane Asana, high crescent lunge. Good, settle in. Take a deep breath in as you lift and lengthen your spine. Bring your hands to heart center, push off. See where you wanna go coming into your warrior three. Do your thing with your arms, try to dial your right hip down, flexing your foot. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. This time, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, fingers find the earth, supported warrior three. Good, again, push back with an active heel and dial your toes down. Good, now if you'd like to add on, stay here or let your right leg come to the high, standing splits. Take a breath in and let a peaceful breath out. This time, take a full breath in and as you exhale, kundalini's descent, teeny tiny ball. Inhale, explode, standing splits, get long. Do that again, kundalini's descent. Inhale, lift and lengthen, get long. Last time, kundalini's descent, stay here. Keep your fingers on the earth or bring your hands to heart center. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And one, good, fingers find the earth as does your right leg forward, fold. Bend your knees a little bit, separate your legs. Left palm finds the earth or your block. Bend your left leg a lot. Right arm comes up. Stay here if this feels amazing. Maybe you prefer a half bind. Take a deep breath in and then as you exhale, bend both legs forward fold, let it go. Good, bend your right leg a lot. Right palm stamps the earth this time. Left arm, bring it up high. Shining your heart up towards the ceiling. Maybe a half bind feels amazing, maybe not. Good, one more time. Take a deep breath in as you high five yourself for taking class. Then exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, just halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, let it go. 
Do that again. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine, crown of your head towards my voice. Exhale, let it go. Root to rise, grow long, grow strong. Arms come up all the way overhead. Good, grabbing one wrist, hinging over to one side of the room. Stay here if this feels amazing. Add your leg behind you if you're looking for a little bit more. Feel the side body expand. When it feels like enough, coming back up again, reach for the stars, and then grab your second wrist, hinging over to the second side of your room. Good, last time, inhale, come up high. Exhale, swan dive forward, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Big toes touch, heels are slightly apart on your inhalation. Utkatasana, chair pose. Try to relax your shoulders. Putting the weight in your heels, perhaps your toes even become off uh, light and lift off the earth. Take a deep breath in here, and as you exhale, let it go. Let go of the breath. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, let it go. Hovering chair pose. Third and last time. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, let it go. Pause here. Good. Try to relax your head, relax your neck. Take a deep breath in, and then stay for your exhalation. On your next inhalation, hips stay low. Slowly bring your arms up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Well done, yogis. Take a deep breath in as you lift and lengthen your spine and find your twist to the right side of your room. Open up your wings if you're feeling it. Side crow if that's in your practice. Do your thing for one more full round of breath. Deep breath in and full breath. Out. Stay with the legs. I know you can do it. Inhale, proud, proud, chest center, and then slowly twist to the second side. Again, squeezing your inner thighs towards your midline. Open up your wings. Side crow. Do your thing. Last breath in and last breath out. Slowly coming up back on your inhalation, and then good. Stand up. Nice. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, movement or stillness, you decide. Take a deep breath in through your nose, part your lips and let it go. On your next inhalation, when you're ready, Utkatasana, chair pose. Take a deep breath in as you lift and lengthen your spine, bring your hands to heart center, slowly coming up to your tippy toes and then slowly start to drop your hips. Good, stay here if you're happy. Crow pose, baby crows if you're feeling it, or perhaps you just come into a malasana squat. Take a breath in, and take a breath out. One more time, take a breath in, breath out, pushing the elbows away from the body. As you inhale, slowly stand up, and then exhale, slowly sink back down to the earth. Do that again. Inhale, arms come up, proud, proud chest. And then slowly come back down to the earth. Third and last time, inhale, arms come up. And then slowly come back down to the earth. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Super, super slow. Slowly start to come back up. Good, bring your arms up, and then pause, bring your hands down, walk your legs together. Full breath in, and full breath out. Last time, Utkatasana, chair pose. Good, settle in. Trust your strength, you're not gonna break. Take a deep breath in as you lift and lengthen your spine. Bring your hands to heart center. Once again, we've been here before, coming up on your tippy toes and then slowly coming down. Coming into your Navasana bow pose. Legs come up. Fingers can be on the earth. They can be on the back of your thighs. Arms can be extended. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, slowly sink your boat. Inhale, slowly come back up. Slowly sink your boat. Good, nice and easy, come back up. Sink your boat. Nice, come back up. Good, three more, sink your boat. 
Inhale, come back up. Beautiful. Two more. Slowly come back up. Last time, sink your boat. And slowly come back up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, yogis. Pausing for a moment, close your eyes if it feels good. Taking a moment of gratitude for your strong body and the beauty of this practice. Take a deep breath in, part your lips and let it go. Ha! When you're ready to add movement back to your practice, coming back to a tabletop position. Again, spread your fingers out nice and wide. Release any tension in your head and your neck. Moving through a round or two of your cacao. Good. Third and final round of your cacao or any movement that feels good for your body. This is your practice, your precious time on the mat. And then when you're ready, neutralizing the spine, stepping back with one leg, stepping back with your second leg, and then full breath in. And an easy breath out. Enjoy a full breath in and then as you exhale, push your hips back up high, downward facing dog. On your next inhalation, right leg set into the high, step forward, take your time coming up, warrior one, arms bring you up. Good. Take a deep breath in and then glide open to your warrior two. Peacefully flip your front palm as you reverse your warrior. Come back to your extended side angle. We've been here before. Or push off your back foot, coming into your half moon. Great place to find a block. Left arm to the high. Really try to left uh, flex your left foot. Maybe the right palm leaves the earth. Maybe not. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Take a deep breath in and then nice and easy bend back, coming back to your warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, and then cartwheel both palms on the inside of your right leg, coming into lizard pose. Stay here if you're happy, drop your back knee to maybe do a nice stretch of the hamstring or reach around for a quad stretch. If you've got bound lizard in your practice, go ahead and shimmy the right arm underneath the leg and then the left arm reaches around your back. Gaze is slightly in front of you and really, really squeeze your right inner thigh towards your midline. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. On your next inhalation, take a deep breath in. And then bring your palms to the earth as you exhale. Right leg goes to the high, bend your knee, yawn it open, stay here or flip your dog. Flip dogs, when you're ready, come back to a three-legged dog. Right foot finds the earth, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, exhale, let it go, ha. Left leg to the high, three-legged dog. Go ahead and step forward, drop your back heel to the earth, root to rise, warrior one. Take a deep breath in and then glide open to your warrior two. Same thing, peacefully flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, again, extended side angle, or push off, placing the left palm in front of your left foot, about six inches to the side of your foot. Flex your right leg a lot, right arm to the high. Crown of the head reaching towards the front of the room. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Flex your back foot. Good. When you're ready, slowly start to come back to your warrior two. Take your time bringing your arms up and then peacefully flip your front palm. Good. Cartwheel both palms down, coming into your lizard pose on the second side. Great place to pause and do a couple stretches. Or of course, you can stay in an active lizard or have a little fun with a bound lizard. Left shoulder goes underneath the left leg, reach around for a bind, 
right arm comes back. Really engage your left inner thigh and gaze is slightly in front of you. Take a full breath in and then stay for your exhalation. And then this time take a deep breath in and as you exhale, palms find the earth. Step back with your left leg, bring it to the high, bend your knee, yawn it open, stay here or flip your dog. Hi, yogis. And then when you're ready, when it feels like enough to you, flip back over, left leg to the high, and then step back to your downward facing dog. Movement or stillness, you decide. And your next inhalation, come up high on your tippy toes, bend your knees, see where you want to go. Step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, just halfway, lift and lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Grow long, grow strong, arms come up all the way overhead. Feel the stretch in your belly, you worked it so hard. And then pause down, arms by your side. Placing the weight in your left leg, identify your right leg and come into true pose. Maybe the fingers come up, maybe you bring your leg on the inside of your calf, never the knee or up to your inner thigh. Maybe you grow your tree, testing the balance, gaze follows the hands, or perhaps you close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Relax your shoulders. Again, continue to breathe in and breathe out, in through the nose, out through the nose. This time, take a deep breath in as you lift and lengthen your spine and then slowly drop the leg. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, switching sides. Placing the weight in the opposite leg, coming into your tree pose, anywhere it feels good. Again, hands to heart center. Maybe you grow your tree. Maybe you challenge the balance or perhaps close your eyes. Three rounds of your breath. Last time, full breath in, and as you exhale, once again, drop your arms. Movement or stillness. Second side, balance. Maybe this time you come into full eagle. Maybe you like dancer pose. Um, I'm gonna come in from an ukatasana, coming into a figure four. Make sure you're flexing your foot, sinking into your arm balance. Maybe you bring your arms down. If you wish to take flight, go for it again. Three rounds of your breath, do you? Last full breath in and full breath out. As you inhale, bring your arms up, bring your hands to your side. Take a moment when you're ready, side two. And then three rounds of your breath. Make it yours. Last full round of breath. Deep breath in. Stay for your exhalation. And then when you're ready, start to come back up. Good. Stretch the arms up high. Swan dive forward, forward fold. Well done. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Step, hop, or float. Move through your vinyasa or bring your hips up high, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, move around, do your thing. And as you come up high on your tippy toes, slowly start to roll forward to a plank pose. Take a breath in, take a breath out. This time, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, once again, hips come up high, downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, come up high on your tippy toes. Roll forward to your plank pose. Stay here if you are happy. Come down to your forearm if you wish. Maybe start to walk the toes in, coming into dolphin pose. Maybe extending your leg, maybe switching sides. Maybe coming forward in your dolphin to do a little dolphin push-up. 
If you wish to do an inversion, bringing your arms to a figure 11. Coming down gently on your head, supporting your head. Coming from your dolphin pose. Come into your tippy tippy toes, elevate one leg, elevate your second leg, and slowly start to bring your legs up. Take a couple rounds of your breath, deep breath in, and full breath out. When you have had enough of your inversion, slowly start to come back down, and pausing in Balasana, child's pose. Third eye rests peacefully on the earth. Bring your arms forward, perhaps bring your arms back, your version of your Balasana. Any way it feels good to your body. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Staying in your Balasana, start to walk your left palm all the way over, letting your head rest peacefully and gently between your biceps. Again, breathing in and breathing out. When it feels like enough, slowly coming back to your balasana and then gently dragging your palms over to the other side of your mat. Good feeling the expansion of the side body as you push your hips back. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And then when you're ready, coming back to traditional balasana. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Try to really relax your arms. One more time, full breath in and full breath out. When you're ready, as you inhale, start to roll forward to your tabletop position. Tuck your feet behind you and come out. Legs are extended long. You can keep your knees slightly bent if your hamstrings are still a little tight. Mine always are. Inhale as you lift and lengthen your spine. Start to hinge forward. Fingers find the earth or your block, perhaps a full wrap. Whatever feels good to you. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. One more time, inhale as you lift and lengthen your spine and then exhale slowly, surrender down to the earth. Two more full rounds of your breath. your next inhalation slowly start to walk your palms back towards your hips go ahead and scoot your bum forward and then slowly rolling down if you want to do a little bit more abs you can come down slowly or let your elbows assist you down so setting up for our three back back bends legs are about hip distance apart fingers move towards the heels pushing the palms into the earth and pushing your weight into your heels. Let's empty all the air out of our lungs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale completely. And on your next inhalation, start to let your hips come up. Great place to put a block under your back for a restorative bridge. A supported support, uh, bridge. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. If you wish to elevate a leg or do a figure four, you know what to do. On your next inhalation, lift your hips to their highest point and then slowly with control, start to surrender all the way back to the earth. Right before your bum hits the earth, inhale and come right back up, bridge pose number two. If you elevated a leg or do figure four, go ahead and switch sides and do so now. Trying to keep your hip bones squared, breathing in and breathing out. Releasing the leg and on your next inhalation, lifting your hips to the highest point and then slowly with control, dropping your hips all the way back down to the earth. Open up your legs about the width of your mat. Let your knees come together to kiss and do your thing with your arms. Stay here if stillness feels good. Maybe you like to windshield wiper your legs. 
And then for your third back back bend, you can put a block under your low back for a supported bridge. You can do another um, traditional bridge or a full wheel is in your practice. Go ahead and set yourself up. Again, fingers reach towards the heels. Push the body weight into the heels and to the palms. And as you inhale, coming up to your bridge or your full wheel, about five of your breaths. You'll know when to come down. Smart yogis, you know your body best. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. When you feel complete, go ahead and inhale, lift to the high, and then slowly come down. If you're in full wheel, tuck your chin and gently come down. This time inside of the feet meet. Let your knees open wide. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Close your eyes, relax. Feel the rise and fall of your belly and the strong beating of your heart. One more full breath in and full breath out. When you feel ready, release your arms. Go ahead and bring your knees back together. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big, well-deserved yogi hug. Maybe a little gentle rock side to the side, massaging your low back. When you're ready, release your feet down to the earth. You're still about hip distance. Cross your left leg over your right with an open palm. Gently push your knee away from the body. Stay here if this feels great. If you need a little bit more, reach between the thighs, supporting the back of your right hamstring. Still feel like you need a little bit more, simply extend the right leg. If you prefer to do pigeon pose, feel free. We're already on the ground, so I thought we'd stay here. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, slowly drop your right foot to the earth, left leg to the high, and then take your time slowly bringing the leg down to the earth. Rebending your left leg, bring it back up. This time the right leg can cross over, figure four, flex your foot. Open palm gently pushes the right leg away. Stay here if this feels great or reach between the thighs, supporting the back of the left hamstring. Feel the nice stretch, never forcing anything now that you're warm. Maybe extend the left leg if that feels okay. Always listening to your body. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, rebend the left leg, let it find the earth. Right leg to the high and then slowly bring your leg down to the earth. Once again, bringing your knees into your chest, drop your arms down to a T. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, drop your knees to your favorite direction. Let your gaze go away from your thighs. Gently pushing your shoulder blades into the earth, maybe extending your right leg or finding eagle legs, whatever feels best to your body. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Good. Rebending your top leg, slowly bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Drop your arms to a T, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, drop your knees to the second side. Gaze goes away from your thighs. Same thing, maybe you extend the left leg. And relax, close your eyes. If you haven't already, releasing your ujjayi breath. Breathing freely, the work is done. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And then when you're ready, rebend your top left leg. Bring your knees into your chest, finding happy, laughing baby. Gently rock your baby. Extend a leg, extend both. Finding any movement that suits your body, your practice. And then when you're ready, bring your knees into your chest. Tight, tight hug. 
And then as you're ready, start to release the upper body. Extend one leg long, extend the other leg long, taking up lots of space on your mat. Palms stamp the earth, knuckles stamp the earth, palms face up to receive the benefits of your practice. Take a deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Coming into your Shavasana. Great job, you all. I hope you find peace during this challenging time. Enjoy your Shavasana, and when you're ready, I wish you peace and happiness, love and laughter. Until we meet on the mat again, my friends, namaste. I miss you, friends. Stay safe. Stay in.